Hello everybody and welcome to another video with me, Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach and PT from The Boxing Locker. You can find me on Instagram at The Boxing Locker if you haven't already. Um, today I'm just going to do a brief video to discuss the uh, uh, excellent um, show put on by Young Gun and um, very, very, very interesting prospect Shakur Stevenson on the weekend against Jamel Herring. Uh, so we'll get straight into it now. Shakur Stevenson won uh, in the 10th round, um, decisively won. He looked exceptional throughout the fight. Uh, he moved from, from head to body with, with comfort, with ease, smoothly. Um, his defense was very organized. Um, his positioning was exceptional. He picked very, very good counter punches. Um, and, and that's a real, I don't want to say coming of age win, but a real sort of announcing himself on a world level win. Herring being a very, very tough opponent for anyone in that division. Um, and I think Stevenson is going to do big things in boxing. Um, he's one of my picks for, for the future of boxing. Um, he's a very, very talented boxer. Um, he's a, a very good counter puncher. He's got exceptional defense. He takes very, very small amount of punches, which means uh, longevity wise, his career has is, is got um, all sorts of potential. Um, with regards to size, I think he's a reasonable size, so he could probably move up uh, through a few divisions and get get maybe up to the sort of um, sort of uh, welterweight at most. Um, but there's no reason why he couldn't do that. Uh, he would obviously have to fill out a little bit, but age will bring that anyway. Um, Skill set wise, I think the only thing he lacks is that is that one punch knockout power that that sort of stems from uh, stems from from being fully committed to your shots, but but that then balances out with the fact that because he's never over committed with his punches, he's always in a position to defend, he's always in a position to move his feet, he's always in a position to pick his punches and counter, which he does exceptionally well. Um, he has an absolutely beautiful jab, uh, very varied ramrod jab sometimes, touching jab, maintaining distance jab, body jab, really, really beautiful, beautiful example of exactly how um, how a young man should be boxing. Um, he carried himself really well after the fight. Obviously, him and Jamel Herring are friends, which uh, we like to see. Um, I don't think Jamel Herring's wife was overly excited <laughs> that he came into the dressing rooms afterwards. However, uh, good to see uh, two, two absolute warriors um, uh, embrace afterwards and accept, you know, that the, the better man won the fight. Um, Herring isn't done and shouldn't be done unless he chooses to be. Uh, he's a, a very exciting fighter at the weight, throws lots of punches, um, he's very tough and he, he will be a, a hard night's work for a lot of other opponents. Um, there's no reason why he couldn't regain a world title provided Shakur Stevenson um, or Oscar Valdez don't lock them all up before he has the chance. And that is a lovely segue to bring me on to the next big fight that I want to see and that is Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Now Oscar Valdez, vastly more experienced, he's obviously just gone through a bit of a, a drug scandal um, which I'm not really going to talk about, I don't like to talk about um, about uh, drug use um, often on this on this kind of platform. Um, I think uh, as, the, as the fans we're given very little information about what happens behind closed doors um, and what, what uh, information is shared behind closed doors um, so I'll leave it at that however I think Valdez is a very very skilled fighter a very 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 dangerous puncher um, as we saw in the Burshout fight and I'd be really interested to see how he came at Shakur Stevenson and whether it was a case of him just walking forward trying to shut him down or whether um, because of his height uh, lack of height he struggled to get inside Stevenson's jab and just gets out box for 12. But that's a, a hell of a fight and hopefully one day that fight will be announced and I'll be able to um, I'll be able to do a little breakdown video of what I think will happen there and then. So that's the next big one for me and I really hope that gets made. We shall see. Shakur Stevenson, a man to watch. If you haven't watched him yet, please do watch him. An exceptional body puncher, a great counter puncher, very, very fluid combination puncher. Goes from head to body and body to head smoothly. His footwork is very controlled. His jab is exceptional. And his, his ability to control space, time and distance is just wonderful to watch as a boxing fan, especially if you're a purist. I'm not saying he's the most exciting guy in the world, um, but if, if you love boxing, then, then there's no reason why you wouldn't want to watch him. So Shakur Stevenson, man to check out. 
Remember, head over to all my other videos, subscribe to the channel, click like, drop your comments. Let me know what you think about Shakur. Let me know what you think is going to happen with him in the Valdez fight, if that ever comes off, what you thought of his performance against Herring and what's next for Herring. Um, head over to Instagram and follow me already if you don't, sorry, and follow me if you don't already. Uh, and then uh, I'm the same on, on Twitter, Boxing Locker, Facebook, The Boxing Locker, and obviously my YouTube channel that you've got to make sure you've subscribed to. Um, so that you get all of these prediction videos and also some technique videos and a few bits that I'll be uploading uh, over the coming weeks. So there's going to be lots and lots for you to watch. Thanks to all of the people that have already subscribed and everyone that watches this video. Hope you have a wonderful day, whatever time of the day it is. Take care and I'll see you again for the next one.